BMF season two, season finale. New beginnings. I'm so sorry for the wait, guys. But let's talk about it. Now we see Meech and Terry as kids again with the addition of B. Mickey. He's been running with them from the start. I'm sorry, bro. I know Monique was a real one for real. And you probably hurting like a motherfucker, but right now we really need to stay focused no matter what. This amazes me. When something is going on in T's life, he can't focus on nothing else but that. But he wants Meech to be the one to get back to work now. That's crazy. It's not a church event. You actually gonna let me model at Hair Wars? Under one condition, I get to go. For real? <laughs> Thank you, mama. <laughs> Lucille is lightening up the reins on Nicole, but she's turning her back on Charles, literally. The Bible says love is patient, love is kind. Love does not keep record of wrongdoings. And he's a scumbag for trying to use the Bible to convince her to stay. That's low, man. I told him about the spot near the marathon plant where Winky's body and that dude from the dry fire are buried. We got two dozen people corroborating. Everybody turned on K-9. Sheesh. He got backed into a corner real quick. At first, I thought, ain't no way K-9 snitch it. But then he turns around and snitches on all his enemies. <laughs> I'm not even mad at that, to be real. But he didn't give up Meech and Terry. Lamar was already spiraling, but Meech and Alvin are gonna assist him with that spiral. I can't remember the last time we had a family dinner together. Well, I can. I mean, you weren't here, Demetrius. Mabel was. Now, did you have that affair with that Jezebel before or after we ate? Seriously? Fish rot from the head down, which is exactly what you are. He's standing in the fire, and I really don't know why he's fighting for something he so clearly didn't want. Kevin gets beat up and his bruiser coming ripped up, which at this point, you know exactly what's about to happen. A kid who's being bullied, he knows there's a gun in his house, and he's left hopeless and can only think of one other option. Hair Wars was and still is a big deal in Detroit. And it's one of the coolest things about this show, where they show us a lot of amazing Detroit black history and a lot of black history in general. Mr. Little was the man behind the hair wars. Stay out of the Don't pit. you think you're a little long in the tooth to be dating my son? Mm. Your son is more mature than most. I'm sure you've had many. Lucille's snapping on everybody. Lord have mercy. The white horse playing as Lamar is loaded up with crack. The music centered around this character is always metaphorical and on point. That's cute. You still can't prove shit. Oh, I can't? But you was the last one who seen Jay Moore alive. And I'm guessing your arrogant ass still got that motherfucking gun, huh? <laughs> Checkmate. Meech and Terry thinking ahead instead of moving on impulse. They got Brian pinched now. Truth is, I haven't been happy either. This was not the life. I hope for. Charles is trash, yo. He really should have just realized that he not the man he think he is, and he dropped the ball in every single way possible. I've said this all along, but I'm not judging him based on the decisions and the actions he's made, but my biggest problem with him is he never responsible for his own actions, and he look at everybody else like they beneath him, and he's the righteous one. Dad, you gotta believe me when I say that was an accident. He he just wouldn't leave me alone and I didn't know what else to do. This wasn't an accident and Kevin has been shown to be a smart kid. He seems very remorseful, but he didn't think about the repercussions before he went and got that gun at all. Means we're not killers, we're businessmen. They not killers, only when it's convenient for Terry. But Terry is right though, they aren't killers. Neither one of them has killed anybody in this show. Meech is shot at and shot several people but he's never actually killed anybody now if you confess i can try to get you less time i'd be in cuffs by now if you really had shit on me you know that right bluffing ass bitch exactly they not stupid at all but sterling was watching this and it don't look so good for b mickey meese did the right thing here death would have been an easy way out for somebody that's suffering so much living don't come around me no more come on meech you dead to me after a bunch of opportunities, this is the way he cut B. Mickey off. But I doubt this is the last time we'll see him. This cat named Robert Fulton. And they're going to want to know who took out their biggest earner, which means me and my sister got to get the fuck up out of Dodge. 
So next season, the new antagonist is Robert Fulton. Goldie put her sister down and gets low. Maybe we'll learn more about that next season. And Saint pulls up on Terry and Markeisha. So next season, we will start off with a bang, literally. It's a lot that they can do moving forward with these seasons. This season really served as like a bridge for the next season. I'm expecting a lot from this crew moving forward. This is a culture breakdown.